This video is going to talk about how to do a confidence interval for the loon eggs. We have some data already from the loon eggs. To calculate the confidence interval, we're going to use this formula. We need to know what y bar is, that is the sample mean. We need to know what the value of t is, that is for n minus 1 degrees of freedom with alpha divided by 2, our level of significance. We find this value from the t table or from software. And then we need to know what the standard error is, or the standard deviation divided by the square root of the number of samples we have. And so we've got some data already from the loon eggs. Let's calculate the confidence interval. 0 0.54 was our mean value. We're going to find two values, so we're going to do plus or minus the value t times the standard error. When we look up the value t, we find a value of 2.000. The standard deviation is 0 0.399. We divide that by the square root of 60, or the number of samples we have. When we calculate this out, we get 0 0.54 plus or minus 0 0.1033. And so while that is our answer, let's see what those values really are. And so we can say that a 95% confidence interval is between these two values. And I'm going to put these two values in brackets. Here it's 0 0.4367 and then a comma 0 0.6433. And so here we can say a 95% confidence interval for the mercury content in loon eggs is between 0 0.4367 and 0 0.6433. Now the exercise also asks you to think about where the values 0 0.5 and 1.0 fall within the interval. Well, 0 0.5 is certainly somewhere uh, in the interval in between these two values. However, the value 1.0 is outside the interval somewhere. And so this is how we might use and calculate a confidence interval for balloon eggs.